So let's get started with the daily read. Um, we're going to get started with the Zodiac pulls. We're going to see what Zodiacs we're pulling. My kitties are up to something. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, gosh. So we got a lot of signs today. First sign we have is Aries. Okay. We have Virgo. Okay. We have Gemini. We have Leo. Okay. We have Pisces. And we have Capricorn. All right, so let's see what messages we have from the zodiac dice. I'm going to be using my interpretations of, of the houses and the planets and stuff just because I want to. <laughs> so let's see what energy we have from the dice. All right. So let's try that again. What energy do we have? Let me move this. Maybe this will help me. What energy do we have from the zodiac dice today? All right, so we have moon, actually we have sun, second house, Gemini. All right, so the second house is about what your possessions, is about what you have. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're looking at what you have currently. Um, you're, you're kind of reevaluating your possessions. The sun talks about your day-to-day -day life. So a lot of you guys, you are kind of looking at what you have as far as your day-to-day -day life. And you're really trying to duality. I mean, the um, Gemini energy is about duality. So some of you guys could be trying to make some sort of change within your day-to-day -day life. It's associated with um, lovers, communication. Some of you guys may be needing to communicate something because Gemini is, is dealing with... Uh, yeah, Gemini is dealing with communication, Mercury. I feel like for a lot of you guys, Mercury retrograde is changing your life, like the way that you live or how you live, maybe even how you communicate. So there could be some changes dealing with that. Um, there's a lot of dualities, a lot of, of for a lot of you guys, a lot of reevaluating that is coming um, from this. And it's also have some associations with your third house as, you know, how you think. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're starting to see things maybe differently, maybe having, um, I feel like there's a change. Um, maybe you're starting to see the other side of how you've been living, maybe starting to rethink or reevaluate with Mercury here um, with the energy of Gemini. So some of you guys could definitely be needing to communicate some things um, or either talk about some changes that have occurred within your life. All right, so let's get started with the read. We're going to pull from the affirmation deck. What affirmations do we have for the collective? Okay, give me one more card of affirmation for the collective. There we go. So the first we have is self-pleasure. I nourish the callings of my soul and feed my spirit's desire. So I guess I got to come at effect. Bam. There we go. And it still ain't show. Y'all, I don't know what to do. <laughs> there we go. I don't know how to get it to show. So there we go. Hope ain't nobody else shot. All right, so we got self-resilience here. It says, I truly love and support myself. Y'all, that speaks volumes for where I am because it's it's normal. Um, with self-acceptance here, I embrace my flaws and I'm perfect just as I am. So for a lot of you guys, this is about really, I feel like you're changing and what's happening internally with you is causing, you know, shifts or changes within your life. So there's a need to really, you know, communicate that. So let's pull, if you guys would like to purchase this deck, the link is in the description. Let me see if I can turn it down some. Maybe it's right on my screen. It is. There we go. So let's see here. <laughs> let's see what messages or guidance we have for the collective. We're pulling from my deck, the Tarot Wisdom deck. Uh, the 5 for 5 is still available, guys. If you guys would like to participate in the 5 for 5, which is 5 cards for $5, um, you can pay through PayPal or Cash App. The link is in the description. If I remember today, I'll put it on the screen. I forgot to do it last night. But that's the only way that I can do the 5 for 5. We can't do it on my store because I have products in my store that require shipping and handling. And it will charge you shipping and handling. And yesterday, I was wore out from trying to refund the shipping and handling to everyone that purchased. All right. So let's see 
What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Messages, guidance. feel like there could for some reason I keep getting marked so there could be a significant shift or change um, within your day-to-day -day life by March star here is really about seeing the bigger picture for a lot of you guys this is about what your wish fulfillment your path um, your purpose here so we got five of swords here um, some of you guys are dealing with some conflicts maybe mental conflicts um, these this is like feelings of defeat maybe even needing to change the way that you are willfully so some of you guys could be communicating in not a so good way. This is like combative communication. So you could be like arguing. Um, this is really needing to see the bigger picture. Queen of Swords here. Somebody could be very combative. Could be feeling as though someone's making an unwise decision. Listen, when it comes... Let me brighten my screen up some. Okay. So when it comes to dealing with other people's decision, you have to detach. Okay. You cannot make anyone make a decision you cannot make anyone see things from your perspective and even though queen of swords is very logical in this instance with the five of swords the queen of swords may be making some unwise uh I'm not gonna say decisions because we don't make unwise decisions but the queen of swords may be making some challenging um choices or or words and maybe shooting some 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 swords out and because this is a this is a combative energy here so with the hermit here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really need to see the path. You need to see that this, whatever you're going through, it's supposed to change your will, to change your mind so that you can move toward healing. We got Virgo energy there as well. But some of you guys with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're in a space of kind of dragging your feet. This is still kind of dragging feet energy. Queen of Cups here really needing to nurture what you feel, nurture your own thoughts. Become more discerning. Uh, sun energy here. That's Leo energy. I feel like for some of you guys, you're, you could be in a space of having some clarity around a relationship or some some truth, especially with um, Mercury here. Knight of Wands here. Truth in desires or truth in what it is that you want. But there's a delay. Page of Swords. The delay is someone needs to speak their truth. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, someone needs to speak their truth. Someone is in a space of not taking some sort of action here on what they truly desire or not taking action on their wish fulfillment. Someone needs to see the bigger picture. You're combative with it within your, your words or combative within your thoughts because you're not following your path. And even though you see clearly the path, you see what you truly desire, the delay is actually taking action. So some of you guys, you know what you want and 10 swords here start. The, you may be in a space of just needing to embrace the end of difficulties in order to move down the path that you're destined to be on. Um, but for some of you guys, that may be the challenge. You may not be ready or willing to, you know, overcome those challenges that you are facing. Um, for some of you guys, you see the challenges, but there's this there's this energy of delaying yourself because either you're afraid to speak your own truth or you're afraid to accept the truth. That's why there's a change within your day to day. Um, there's some dualities. There's some some you're needing to really communicate in a different way what it is that you want is what I'm getting all right so let's let's clarify here we got five of swords energy why is this five of swords here why is this five of swords here why is this five of swords joker so for a lot of you guys you may feel like you've been played here ace of wands here with the eight of swords yeah some of you guys you may feel like you've been played um this has to do with your pride so that's why you're in a space of being combative with this ace of wands and this eight of swords energy you feel like you're being restricted from taking action on a new opportunity or you're being restricted now some of you guys could feel as though there's some restrictions toward a new opportunity there's interferences toward a new opportunity that's what it is. For some of you guys, you feel like there's some interferences. Eight minus five is three. So for some of you guys, you feel like you're being betrayed, but you're not. You're needing to see the bigger picture here. You're being you're being guided down a new path, and it may be a change to what you're you're used to. It may be a change to. Uh, it got bright again. It may be a change to what you used to. It may be a change to you know how you've been living previously, and you may not be. 
open to that. You feel me? Some of you guys may be very defensive, very you know combative, feeling defeated by this change, but it's necessary. This is where you're being guided. So some of you guys, either you feel like you've wasted your time, you may feel like you've made some foolish decisions, or you've been a fool, but you have not. You were some of you guys were in 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 a you were learning a lesson. The lesson is learned now, so you need to change the way you're thinking and the way you're interacting um, within your will in order for you to really go down the path that you're meant to be. But there is definitely some dragging of the feet. For some of you guys, it could be based in some responsibilities. Or for a lot of you guys, you could be just trying to buy your time. Um, so let's see here. Some of you guys are starting to see the bigger picture, and that may be why you're in a space of really feeling defeated. Um, some of you guys, you're, you're on guard, definitely on guard here. Why is this Queen of Swords energy here? We got nine. Of, you're on guard because you're having anxieties, um, dealing with some regrets. With the Jack, of, with the uh, Knight of Wands here, for a lot of you guys, you may feel like. Um, you may feel like someone's acting impulsively or you may feel like you're acting impulsive, but there's a lot of lack here. Five of, five of Cups with the Five of Pentacles is definitely challenged energy well, along with that Five of Swords. So there's definite changes that are happening because the, the Minor Arcana is your day-to-day -day life. So there's definite changes that are happening within your day-to-day -day life, but it's bringing you anxiety and it's putting you in the space of kind of being on guard, of trying to, you know, protect yourself. Um... You don't need to protect yourself by restricting yourself from getting on the right path for you. See if that helps. Because it's, it's dark. Ain't nothing I can do about what it is. But Alright, so hermit energy here. Why is this hermit energy here? We have the knight of cups here. So some of you guys, you're being guided. But seven of cups here, you're in the space of, of maybe dealing with some illusions. Maybe having some daydreams. All right, so you have the Jack of Cups, I mean the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords here with the Nine of Cups. You're being guided toward your happiness. Your your heart space and even in your mind, you're being guided toward your happiness. But for a lot of you guys, Four of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups, you're holding on to an illusion. You're holding on to a dream. Um, a dream is a dream. It's not real. Um, it's something that you envision. And even though it may reflect in what you consider to be your reality, your reality is only what you perceive it to be. So for a lot of you guys, you're perceiving an illusion or something that is not real in your life as reality, but it's not real. It's it's something that you've created, um, which everything that we do is something that we created, but you've created this based off of an illusion, meaning you've either created it off of a dream, um, based it off of something else. Like, say for instance, because this looks like this this is your day-to-day -day life, so this could be a relationship or this can be like a a job like an employer employee relationship say for instance this is a job say you work for your family or something like that you could be deciding to take up a role that maybe your mother had or your father had because it's been passed to you and you're in your mind i have to do what you know what is traditionally right say for instance this is a relationship you could be in your mind creating this relationship based off of what you've seen from you know your parents or what you didn't see and want to create because you feel like this is the way that it's supposed to be but it's an illusion it's fake it's not real um it's not for a lot of you guys you've went into something you went into s some sort of lesson um trying to create a blessing from it but it was a lesson so you have to take that you have to see the bigger picture whatever you're dealing with was a lesson okay learn the lesson so that you can move on the path toward your blessings but for a lot of you guys with that knight of pentacles energy you're really dragging your feet maybe you have some responsibilities that you're in a space of just trying to hold on to make sure it didn't stop all right so we have the queen of of pentacles here the joker here with the four cups for a lot of you guys i feel like you're in the space of there's some there's some heartache here Ten Pentacles here with the Nine of Wands. Some of you guys are really in the space of just trying to overcome what you've committed yourself to, but you're emotionally closed off based off of, of some responsibilities or based off of trying to be methodical within your actions. So even if you've come to the realization that whatever you've created is not beneficial to you, it's not what you really want, like you could you can get a job and think, you know, this job is going to be perfect. This is exactly what I want. It is great pay, great 
fucking schedule and then you get in it and it's not it's nothing like you thought it was going to be it's actually the total opposite because that job wasn't meant for you it may have fit you know the scheme of things but it's not for you so for a lot of you guys you are realizing you know whatever i've created may not be for me but i'm stuck in it i have some responsibilities to it so i just need to buy my time until i'm able to queen of pentacles joker here and until i'm able to flip this and really escape from this because this joker is, is really a this is a, a heart joker so it's really about escapism for some of you guys you're taking your time and really kind of either you're in the space of just holding yourself back and using these responsibilities as like as, as the reason why you're holding yourself back or for a lot of you guys you're just trying to bide your time until you find the strength to escape this commitment that you made regardless it, it, it's it's a all of it's an illusion i mean you create the you create what you have around you you create the energy of whatever you have around you so if you're stuck in the situation it's because you're choosing to be it's because you're choosing to keep yourself restricted regardless of what's actually there or what isn't so we got queen of cups energy here why is this queen of cups energy here so we got 10 cups here this could be family for some of you guys this could definitely be mother um for a lot of you guys this could be yeah, this is all emotion. So mother, father here. For some of you guys, this has to do with like family. For some of you guys, you could have a child involved here. Um, could be children involved and you could be in a space of nurturing this based off of, you know, family ties, based off of responsibilities. The problem is 10 ones under here, it's a burden. So even if you are in a space of wanting to nurture this this relationship, this is a relationship. King, Queen of Cups is a relationship. If you're in the space of wanting to nurture this relationship, you reach the peak of what it is. And a lot of you guys are in an illusion of what was. So you're continuing to kind of try to relive the past. You cannot relive the past. You can only create new energy now so that you can change your future. You feel me? For a lot of you guys, there's this energy of really needing to master your emotions, um, nurture what you feel, nurture your clarity. But I feel like there's not that going on here because there's a lack of action. Why is this? Now, some of you guys, you could be in the space of trying to manifest a new partnership or even manifest, you know, new children within a partnership. You need to be careful with that because that this energy is it, it's a delay. So we have sun energy here. We got five of wands here, which is more conflict, um, four of wands. So there's comp for a lot of you guys, you see that there's a lot of conflict within the foundation that you've created because the four of wands talks about foundations that you create. So for a lot of you guys in three under here, three of wands, for a lot of you guys, it's really about establishing the strength to choose happiness, to be happy. But with the four of swords here, it would require you to retreat. And I feel like you know that. For a lot of you guys, you're gaining a lot of clarity about your relationship. And a lot of you guys, you really just want to move forward. But you're dealing with what you perceive as delays. You're needing to see the bigger picture. The only delay you have is yourself. So we got the Two of Cups energy here. Why is the Two of Cups energy here? Like this could be dealing with, with relationships. This can be dealing with parental figures. It could be dealing with, you know, um, friendships. But that are based in love so for a lot of you guys you have this two of cups this partnership or this relationship that you're needing to make some sort of decision about we got king of wands here for a lot of you guys this is about focusing mm, this is about focusing on making a good decision two of pentacles here i mean two of pentacles here with the eight of cups for some of you guys this is about walking away from this relationship like you've reached the peak of what it was and i feel like you're beginning to see that you're seeing the bigger picture even though there may be some resistance toward that the bigger picture is ten swords you're needing to embrace the end of this difficult situation in order for you to be able to evolve past it um a lot of times we don't want to evolve past situations that we create because we perceive that as a failure but it is not a failure it's a chance to re to re to re, give a rebirth to ourselves. it's a chance to kind of renew ourselves in a in a different situation or in a different life not saying that you're moving into a new relationship but this is about releasing yourself from something that has created a prison for you in order for you to move towards something better in your life so with the knight of wands here and the um page of cups for a lot of you guys your desires are the delay so whether your desires are sex um to have you know whatever that is creating some sort of whatever the desire is if it's money if it's sex if it's just stability or if it's just an image whatever your desire is creating a delay here so we have the knight of wands here 
Ace of Swords, yeah. So for a lot of you guys, there is a desire to move toward a new beginning, but you have to make a decision to do that. King of Swords. Seven of Swords energy here. For a lot of you guys, the interference you have is Seven Swords because that's eight, eight Swords here. So the interference you have is Seven Swords. Either you're lying to yourself or you're lying to someone else and it's creating burdens. Ten of Wands here. So there are some burdens within your desires. Um, your desires are deceptive. You choose to move towards something. Actually, you're desiring to move towards something new, but there's a delay in you taking action because for a lot of you guys, you're trying to live out this fantasy it's a fantasy. It is not reality. Okay. It, it is your perceived reality at the moment, but you, if you're in your heart, not happy with what you've created, then you're living in an illusion. You're lying to yourself. You're living in a fantasy in a dream and you know, dreams don't get you nowhere. <laughs> All right, so page of, of swords, not saying that you shouldn't dream. Everyone should have a goal, um, but learn to be in alignment physically with what you are wanting to perceive as your reality moving forward. So with this page of swords or this princess of swords, there's definitely some delays here. Uh, okay, so three of cups here. The delay for a lot of you guys, three of cups here with these six of pentacles. For a lot of you guys, it may be... The, there's a third party here and the third party may be balance it may be money so for some of you guys you could be dealing with money the third party could be a new person um with the king of pentacles here i feel like for a lot of you guys someone is in, in a space of trying to keep something balanced trying to keep something stable but they're delaying their own abundance so put it let me let me put this in in, in layman's terms say for instance okay Say this is like, say this is a job. We're going to say job because people relate to money. People relate to money. More than they relate to anything else, they relate to money. So say this is a job that pays you $15 an hour, just $15 an hour. But $15 an hour, does, and it's it's a job that pays $15 an hour. It's solid. It's 40 hours a week. Um, more if you choose. You can get overtime if you want. Da, 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 da. Um, but say the $15 an hour gives you just enough to live comfortably, but not to where you want, not to be at the level you want. Maybe you you can't save any money in order to be able to, you know, buy your bigger house or buy your nicer car. It just keeps you in a comfortable yet restrictive bubble. But you have an opportunity to make 40, 50, 60 unlimited amount of money each hour. Do you choose to stay in your bubble where you feel like you're comfortable? Because that job that does pay 50, 60, 70, it may not be, it's all based on what you do. It's all based on your work. It's based on your investments. For some people, they choose to stay within that $15 bubble because I can just do this and I don't have to worry about anything else. I don't have to worry about, you know, if, if I don't, if I'm not feeling good or, or if I'm not as active, I'm not gone. You know what I'm saying? I have this guaranteed here. You feel me? I don't have to do anything other than what I've been doing. Even though I can't move, even though I'm restricted, even though I'm, I'm not free, even though I, my time, I got I got to be here 40 hours a day. I mean, I got to be here 40 hours a week. I have to in order to keep this job. But I have an opportunity to create so much more abundance and freedom and joy and happiness and, and you know, love for myself and my life. I have this opportunity to do way more than what I'm able to do in this $15 an hour job? Do you stay restricted and not take action on an opportunity that will bring you more, but that opportunity is based in faith and like jumping out and, and, and moving out. A lot of people won't do that. You feel me? And it's, listen, that's your choice. If you choose to stay restricted in your bubble, choose to be restricted in your bubble, but don't manifest better if you're not willing to break free from what you've created within your life, from your bubble in order to go, in order to have better. Like you can't be manifesting a multi-million dollar house and you're restricting yourself to your $15 an hour job. It's impossible. You feel me? It's impossible. So if you're manifesting a multi-million dollar house, a multi-million dollar relationship, and I say multi-million dollar because we see money, but just say something that's abundant, loving, beautiful. If you're manifesting these things and you're restricting yourself into these bubbles or into these, these situations that don't allow you to have that, you got, you got to release your dream. You got to let go of 
the blessing that you're trying to bring into your life and deal with the circumstances that you create for yourself. So for a lot of you guys, your own delay toward your own abundance is you trying to stay balanced or you trying to stay within this bubble. You trying not to cross the line. That's, that's what you choose. So if you're wanting wish fulfillment, you have to break free from what is not your wish fulfillment. You feel me? You have to break free from what you've created that is an illusion or a fantasy within your life and actually take action on your wish. You, you, can't, you can't get it just sitting still. So, like I'm saying, for a lot of you guys, your delay, your only delay is you. You have to see the bigger picture. You have to be the one to make the necessary movements in order to go after that 40, 50, 60, you know, dollars an hour job or whatever or situation that's going to bring you truly what you want. You have to break free from the restrictions you have for yourself. And it does require having faith, walking out on a limb, putting your faith in God, putting your faith in the universe that because I am choosing to accept this opportunity, that this blessing that I have manifested, that I've already promised myself before I got here, because I'm choosing to accept that, I'm choosing to release myself from the burdens and restrictions that have create that I have created and that have caused me to be stuck into this bubble. It does mean that you got to quit your job. You feel me? It does mean that you got to go out on a limb. It does mean that you may not have shit. You may not have nothing to start out with. It does mean that you're going to have to continually fight, build. You know, it, it, it's not going to be easy. But the end result, the end game, you feel me? It's the end game. That's just like, put it like this. Um, you know how now all the artists want to get want to have royalties to their song because of the end game. Like, you know, previously artists was like, oh, yeah, you can pay me up front. Give me an advance, a fifty thousand dollar advance. But then you, this company. Perfect example. Y'all know that movie with Taraji P. Henson um, when the dude had was building his uh, prototype or whatever. It was something he was trying to build. So he went to the company and they was willing to give him like, you know, eight hundred thousand dollars for his invention but he knew that his work was worth so much more that's like you you know that what you have to give to this life is worth so much more you know you deserve so much more than what you have but do you settle for that eight hundred thousand just because it looks good at the moment or do you go for a long game go for the end game look i know that you may can give me eight hundred dollars today but i can make eight hundred billion dollars if i move forward and i and i continue to push and push and push and, and manifest whatever I, it is that I desire. So for some of you guys, you're faced with that dilemma. Do I accept what I have because it, it, it makes me comfortable? I may be stressed out. I may got some burdens. I may got some bullshit. I may be living in a fantasy. But do I stay in this restriction or do I choose to take action on what I'm truly manifesting, which is my end game? I want my royalties. I want my 100%. I want everything. You feel me? Because this is what I've worked for. This is what I've invested in. This is what this is my purpose for being here. Like, you know, even though we all, not all of us, but most of the light workers that are here that are active light workers you're destined for greatness you're destined for greatness so be the greatness allow yourself sometimes you got to go through the mud that's the lotus that's why we look to the lotus you know as that symbol of enlightenment because the lotus starts out buried under the mud buried under dirt um, and mud is heavy, you know, but it breaks free. It breaks through and it blossoms out of the mud. So for some of you guys, it's not about having something that looks good, but actually having something that is good, that is going to be good, that is good for you and is going to benefit you in the end game. You know, it's about making that $800 billion as opposed to taking the easy way out, getting 800000 now and then five, 10 years from now, you're like, shit. I don't have nothing because 800,000 ain't nothing, you know, I know it's it's something if you don't have it, but it's nothing. It's nothing because that runs out. I want it to be a continual thing. It's like I'm not going to accept, you know, I'm not going to accept 100,000 right now. And I know I can make 100 billion in the long run. No, I'm going to work and I'm going I'm to go toward that 100 billion because my eyes on the prize. You feel me? My eyes on what I'm manifesting, which is greatness, not for mediocrity or not for just to be comfortable. Comfort don't bring you nothing but but fucking comfort. It don't bring you nothing. It don't bring you wealth. It don't bring you love. It don't bring you abundance. It brings you what you've manifested, which is comfort. And comfort is only 
perceived in the eyes of the person that finds it comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Some people find pain comforting. You feel me? Some people like dead ass. Some people find pain comforting. Some people find um, toxic energies comforting because that's all they know. It doesn't make it right. So we have magician energy here. Why is this magician here? Why is this magician here? Okay, that's the whole deck. Let me take that back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is this magician here? Why is magician here? Now some of you guys could be manifesting some more responsibilities. Jack of, uh, I mean, the uh, Knight of Pentacles here. But I feel like with the Six of Wands here and the King of Swords, this is about really, this is about making decisions or. Let me say, this is about balancing your energy and making decisions for the long run. Being very methodical within your manifestations. For a lot of you guys, Eight of Pentacles, it is going to require an investment on your part. An investment toward your dream. And for a lot of us, the biggest investment we have to our dream is letting go of the illusion of winning. You feel me? I'm just being real. I remember when I got in the casino, it was like, oh, I got a casino job. I'm good. You know, uh, dealers make a lot of money. Yeah, I was making a lot of money, but I was stressed the fuck out, man. I'm trying to tell you, working them long ass hours, you know, tired as fuck sitting on my feet all day, not benefiting from what I'm actually, you know, investing my time in. Yeah, I'm getting paid, but I got to take this check and go pay bills. I don't have no time to spend with my kids to use the money on them because that's who I'm working for. You feel me? It's like I had all these dreams of what I wanted to do with my kids and my my circumstance prevented me from actually being able to embrace that dream like it wasn't worth it you feel me so it was a need a necessity to break free but I didn't even see it as a necessity to break necessity to break free until I almost lost my baby and then I was like I have to because I have to be here for them like my time and my energy with them is way more important than any amount of money a motherfucker gonna give me to go work somewhere else and that was that's my story that doesn't mean it's your story I'm just saying so what messages do we have moving forward we got freedom so for a lot of you guys what you're manifesting is freedom um but you got to see the bigger picture. You got to see that. You got to be confident in that. What other messages do we have for the collective? Okay. Oh, yeah. We got integrity. Yes. Yeah, some of y'all have not been being honest. You feel me? And we got intuition. We got bondage here and we have love. So some of you guys have been binding yourself to situations or circumstances. Um, you really, this is about being honest. Like, what do you actually want and then actually moving toward that? Some of you guys know that you're restricting yourself. It's here. Some of you guys know that you're restricting yourself. You could be restricting yourself for love or you could be restricting yourself from love. Um, but you need to be honest. This is about being honest and really, like I said, breaking free, um, allowing yourself to leave any baggage that is baggage in, in baggage in the 3D world is devil energy. It's toxic. It's codependent. Like you're already bound to your physical self. And once you become enlightened, you're free because you understand it is just a vehicle to allow you to experience this life. It is not the end all be all. A lot of us are stuck in that 3D mindset that we have to have something anchoring us to our reality or something anchoring us um, to life or even people that anchor us. And that's a codependency. You don't need any anchors okay your only anchor is your knowledge knowing the truth of who you are we are all free we're all connected we're all one collective consciousness but because we experience it on a 3d level we have to find these external anchors in order to find security within our life you don't need anything external from you to be secure within this life for a lot of you guys you need to be honest with yourself um see the bigger picture and go toward what you truly desire some of you guys, what you truly desire is freedom. So this is all I have. Until next time.